Hi guys, I'm back and I'm back with another Princess Polly haul. This will be a lot of Princess Polly hauls in a row. I realize that. That's just what we do around here now. Holy moly girl, all you ever do is Princess Polly hauls. I know. I've filmed like three videos that have just not made it onto the internet because of my own insecurities. But we're moving past it. Today, I have a Princess Polly haul, but I wanted to do something a little bit different than I used to. So usually, I just try on the piece, right? I give you guys a little glimpse of what it looks like on, and we move on. This time, I wanted to do like a how I style each piece, so that you actually got like a glimpse of my fashion sense, <laughs> instead of just like, here's what I got. So I wanted this to be more of an experience for you. That's what's different for this video. I'm gonna give you a little like, you're gonna see, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna get real creative with it, okay? So yeah, uh, essentially I style it. I style the piece like two different ways so that you can see how it could be worn and how I would wear it. The pile <laughs> of everything is right here. I mean, you guys have seen enough Princess Polly hauls from me that you know the drill by now. They did provide me with another discount code for you guys. It is Georgia Grace 20. Yes, Georgia Grace 20. I'll put it right here on the screen for 20% off your order. That code comes in real handy. So definitely get your 20% off because that's a massive, that's a massive discount. As always, they also have free express which is two-day shipping on orders over $50 for the U.S. And also, they do offer afterpay for all U.S. customers. So, I guess I'll start with the shirt I'm wearing right now, which is a little pistachio green number. It is a cardigan with all these cute little buttons and around almost, I don't know, quarter-length sleeves kind of. All the little buttons are the exact same color as the sweater, which I think is really cute. For my first look with this top, I decided to style it with a pair of medium wash jeans. These have a little rip in the thigh, which I think spices them up a little, and they also have a raw hem at the bottom. I also paired it with these chunky white sneakers, which you will see later in the haul. And I think it made for a pretty casual look that you could wear almost anywhere. Super comfortable, throw it on and go not trying but still looking super cute that kind of vibe you know and for my second look i did something even more casual i decided to pair it with a pair of gray sweats that i've had for a super long time and those same chunky sneakers i think this makes a great airport outfit i think it makes a great chilling around the house outfit it's super cute super comfortable and i just think this top looks really cute with sweats it just it it looks comfy but like you're still trying so, those are my two looks for this top. I also got this top in a size two, a size US two. Um, and it's kind of the perfect, the perfect crop in my opinion. For my next piece, I got this little leather mini skirt, okay? It's so cute, it fits absolutely perfectly. The zipper is a little gold detail. On the back, the length is perfect. The slit makes you look so curvy even when you're not. Okay, so for my first outfit that I styled with this, I decided to go for an all black kind of vibe. So I paired this skirt for my first look with a little black bralette and a black blazer. And then for shoes, I wore these little black strappy croc print heels that are also from Princess Polly. I paired it next with a little green tie top that is also from Princess Polly that you can find in one of my earlier hauls. This top's super pretty. It still makes for a fancier outfit. I also paired that one with the black strappy heels. I can't wait to style this more. This could also totally be dressed down with a pair of Doc Martens and a t-shirt a pair of sneakers, really anything will go with this skirt. It's so cute. Okay, next I have a t-shirt, which would actually look really cute with that leather shirt. I don't know why I didn't think about that. It's just a gray, simple t-shirt with a little logo on the front. It's nothing crazy, but I thought this would go with so many different things. The logo and the writing is actually... 
which I was really pleasantly surprised by. It is raised and fuzzy and higher quality than I even expected. A super casual, super comfy, just your basic gray t-shirt. I got this one in a US 4. I wanted it to be like a tiny bit oversized, but nothing crazy. And it fits perfectly exactly how I wanted. So for the first outfit, that I styled with this t-shirt. I just paired it with this pair of black pleated, they're just wide leg comfortable pants. And these can be dressed up or dressed down, but I feel like with a t-shirt, it gives like just the right mix. And then I also paired it with those same strappy black heels from the last outfit. I felt like that just dressed it up just enough where you could wear it out, but it's still like a very comfortable casual outfit. So for the next outfit, I decided to pair this t-shirt with just this pair of, I don't know, light to medium wash Bermuda shorts. These are frayed on the end and have a little rip. Um, and then I decided to pair it with a pair of white cowboy boots. Princess Polly has an epic pair of white cowboy boots um, that you should definitely check out. And I just thought that made for a super casual outfit. I know cowboy boots have been really in for a while. And I thought this one was just like a fun take on it. But yeah, a t-shirt can be styled a thousand different ways. Those were just the two that I thought of with this one. So I picked up this little white um, open back number. It's a white long sleeve and then it has these little strings right here that can scrunch up the fabric so it can be either super cropped or not very cropped and then you just tie these around in the back in a little bow and you have an open back top. Super easy to get on surprisingly. <laughs> I thought it would be harder than it was. I will say this one's like just barely a little bit see-through but it's nothing crazy where you couldn't wear it. I think this top would look so cute with a pair of jeans so that is exactly how I styled it. For the first outfit I just decided to pair it with a pair of low-waisted oversized jeans. These are light wash and have tons of frays at the end. I absolutely love them. I also paired it with a pair of kitten heels that are the flip-flop style. I thought that just went really well with the whole vibe. Um, this outfit's a little like woo because of all the tummy you got showing but you could easily pair it with a pair of high-waisted jeans and it would look just as good. And for the next outfit, I decided to do something um, with it as an undershirt because it is the perfect undershirt on a colder day. You don't have to have that open back happening. So I decided to layer it up a little bit and wear it with that same black blazer you guys saw earlier in the video and a pair of black Bermuda shorts, which are also from Princess Polly. I love these to death. They fit me perfectly and I wear them all the freaking time. And with that outfit, you can either wear a pair of sneakers, a pair of black sandals, literally anything you want would go with this outfit. I decided to pair it with that same pair of black kitten heels from the last outfit. Sticking to the white theme, I have a t-shirt that is white as well. Um, if you guys watched my previous Princess Polly hauls, you would have seen this same t-shirt but in black. I decided to pick it up in white as well because I love it so much. These t-shirts go with absolutely anything and the strings just like add a little extra. And because there's so many options with this t-shirt, I just decided to go with an all white look to make it a little more fun. So I threw on these little white high-waisted jeans I had. These are frayed at the ends, look super cute. And I also paired it with those same chunky sneakers. Now we are moving on to accessories and shoes. The first thing that I wanted to mention was this tiny little pair of white ankle socks. I just had to have these for some reason. I just really like the little frills on top and they're also ribbed, which I love. These go so cute with the next thing I'm going to show you, which is that chunky pair of white sneakers that I have been talking about the entire video. So these are the white sneakers okay they have a little bit of beige a little bit of cream the most beautiful color scheme and so many different textures and colors i posted a photo of these sneakers on my instagram because they're so stinking cute I 
I just think these are one of the cutest um, chunky sneakers I've ever seen and they're at a much more affordable price than some of the other ones. The next shoe we're going to talk about is those strappy black sandals. These are them. I think they're so beautiful. They go with anything. These have been trendy for a while. The strap that goes up your ankle. I just haven't gotten my hands on any until now. So I'm a little behind, but I like how it's a short heel. I like how it's a chunky heel and I love the crocodile print. These go with almost everything, which is why I styled them <laughs> with so many outfits in this haul but I really love these and I think they're so cute. Right, the last pair of shoes I have to show you are these black little cowboy boots. It is just your simple ankle cowboy boot. I think it's the perfect amount of heel and I love the cowboy boot trend. I think it just like, adds something to an outfit. So yes, definitely go pick up these. I think they're super fun. The last thing I have to show you is a bag. I absolutely love the shoulder bag trend that's been happening. And I have seen this one all over Instagram. It has that crop print we all adore at the moment. And has so many pockets on the inside and it's such good quality. But yeah, and that bag actually came with its own separate bag, which I think is super fun, which is this little tote that is also from the same brand. Um, I love tote bags. I think they come in handy all the time. So I'm definitely going to be using this quite a bit, but those are all the things I got in this haul. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of like different style of a try on haul. I'm going to try and continue uploading more frequently. Princess Polly really pulls through and I cannot recommend them to you enough. But yeah, I hope you liked this style video. Let me know in the comments below if you did. I would love to do more things showing off outfits like that that I enjoy. Follow my Instagram if you don't because I post on there all the time and if you ever wanted to say hello, my DMs are open to all and I will most likely respond. So. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you go click the link in the description and do a little shopping on Princess Polly. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>